Holidays really give us uh, moments of reflection. I hope you were able to reflect during the holiday season and uh, take a step back, get quiet, think about the work that you've done, uh, the priorities that you've had, uh, the commitment you've made, the commitment you have to make uh, to the kinds of things that are important to you. I know I have. I always try to work into my activities, whether it's the holidays or not, uh, some bit of reflection. And usually I do that when I'm out and about taking a taking a walk in the morning or uh, communing with nature, if you will, uh, because that's a really good time to, uh, to think, to get quiet, to get focused. Uh, some, uh, you know, reflection on the work that you're doing, but, but also some quiet time to let uh, ideas emerge and uh, um, to just get some stillness in your day so that you can be focused and do the kind of work that you can be proud of. So take a moment of reflection um, during the holiday season and every day going forward and make sure that that reflection um, is worked into your schedule. Uh, and make sure that uh, if you can, you know, start the day that way, end the day that way. Uh, and what you'll find is that it will really guide you in uh, surprising ways, uh, in ways that will be empowering, ways that will uh, make your work that much better make the impact that much better. Some of the things that you're struggling to have solutions for, you know, you have to get out of the, the crowd, the rat race, the, uh, the tension, and settle down and really let those ideas emerge in you. I, I always say that progress really starts with a quiet mind. Uh, and I've learned that uh, over many years. Get a quiet mind and you'll get some solutions, you'll get some ideas, you'll get some strategies and you'll get some confidence to go forward in the way that you should. If you like this tip, let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, share it with someone in your network, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.